Hello, Andrew. Good to see Hi. you, man. Andrew Garfield, man. So so good to have you here with us on Meet Me at the Movies. Truly appreciate it, man. Nice to see you, Noel. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, wow, man. What a crazy, awesome year for you. I mean, you're looking at uh, you hanging out as uh, Jim Baker and then uh, Tick, Tick, Boom. And, and it's you're seeing you take on these true life roles and, and maybe some other roles that you'll be able to crawl around in later in the year. We'll have to wait and see on that. But I wanted to ask you um, how your real life approach to artistic pursuits is different or similar to John uh, in uh, Tick, Tick, Boom. Oh, yeah, it's a great question. Um, you know, it was something that, you know, I, I thought about a lot in the, in the preparation of, of the character and in playing because, you know, it's he is the kind of the the farthest extreme of like a kind of religious monk like devotion to one's dream and and to one's creativity almost as if he's being kind of governed by the theater muses and that he doesn't get to sleep at night because he's being haunted by by the by the songs that he's being tasked with to sing and the stories that he's been tasked with to tell and the the heartbreak of the world that he he can feel all too deeply um it it, it it is as if he has this kind of you know genius calling that's always calling to him to write to sing to play and i think anyone any one of us can feel an identification with that i think we all have this thing that calls to us whether it's to be an, a writer, an actor, a, a, a reporter, or a, um, an interviewer, or you know, a chef, or whatever it is, we feel there's something always tugging at us. And I think that's one of the things that is making people connect with this story, because it's universal. Like we all, right. we all have that thread. So for me, I, I feel a real kinship with John in terms of this feeling haunted by one's calling and devotion. Wow. Um, yeah, because I, I do believe there's no better way for me to spend my time than making stories, telling stories that unite people, telling stories that inspire, that awaken, that illuminate, that um, can create and induce passion or a remembrance of, you know, in particular, this film, I think it's, it can induce people's remembering their own, their own primary dreams, uh, whether they're right. living them or not. And I think that's when something transcends making a film and it becomes uh, impactful in someone's life. That's what really excites me. Well, when I think about you talking about these connections and how you feel this connection, was there anything that, now that you've had a chance to walk back, take a look at that final cut, uh, uh, is there anything that this role taught you about yourself, either the character or your interpretation of the character? Yeah, I mean, it definitely showed me that I want to spend my time this way. Um, like like John discovers, there's no other way I want to spend my time. But it also told me, it showed me that I, 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 want, I want to be able to have as much life, ordinary life as possible so that I can carry on going back into my artistic work f with a full cup. And um, obviously the thing that John struggles with is somewhere deep down for me he knew that he didn't have a lot of time on this earth he knew he was going to pass away young that's an unconscious thing i don't think it's a yeah. conscious thing but the fact that he did die at the age of 35 of a aortic aneurysm on the eve of the first preview of rent off broadway is a kind of seren a kind of synchronicity that can't be ignored yeah and the fact that he wrote this musical to called tick tick boom where he was afraid that his heart was going to explode can't be ignored um, for me, playing the character anyway, and actually it, it adds a layer of profundity, this idea that he knew, and even in the breakup with his girlfriend that he loves so deeply and that he wants to have children with and that he wants to have a family with, there's some strange unconscious protection of her in the sense of like, I don't want to leave you a widow, I don't want to leave you a single mother of our children. I think th that, that that unconsciously is, is being played out underneath all of... Um, you know, his reasons for focusing on his work and, and, and having to set this person that he loves free. Yeah, well, my dad was a musician, a writer and a visual artist. And at times 
his search for creative expression tortured him. And he passed away this past year. And I just want to tell you that this film really spoke to me uh, and your interpretation of this character spoke to me as well. So I just want to thank you for that. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry for your loss. And I know, I know, I know that experience and, and uh, yeah, I'm sending you my love in, in that way. Thanks. Andrew Garfield, thanks for joining us right here on Meet Me at the Movies. Thanks, Noel. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, buddy. Take good thank care. You, Noel. Thank you. Bye.